Are you ready to be unleashed and unstoppable? Are you ready to experience a breakthrough and step into your next level of leadership? Living a life of power, purpose, and possibility on your own terms, unapologetically. This podcast is for discovering how to play big, how to be unleashed and unstoppable. Through wiring inner success at the source as you step into your full potential as a wildly ambitious leader. We are Alexanne Carter and Carol Register. We are certified master neuro coaches and the founders of Unleashed and Unstoppable You. We're best known for being confidence boosting, neuro hacking, productivity and wealth experts. And for high achieving leaders, visionaries and entrepreneurs. Now let's be unleashed and unstoppable. Hello, hello, hello. We are here with you again today and so excited to be here with you. We are bringing all of our energy because this is going to help you big time and you won't believe the simplicity. Okay, our beautiful brains happen to have this wonderful complication bias and a negativity bias. And when we bring it back to clarity and simplicity, Simplicity, that's where the magic and the miracles happen, right? Exactly. Which is what we like to call our science. So um, we're glad you're here. And if, Alex, lean in. What are we going to talk about today? Which I know, but I can't wait <laughs> till you talk about it. Well, we wanted to dive into the power of choice, right? So what yeah. happens when you have this freedom of choice and, and really leaning into this power of choice, which may cause the brain to question that or maybe create some resistance around that. Because when we think about society, when we think about how we've been grown up, right? We look at our school systems and we look at the the corporate world and we look at the people ahead of us and and all around us. A lot of people are operating from, well, you should do this and you have to do this and you can do this. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, who do you think you are? And all of these become automations. That's not possible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So a lot of this sort of negative beliefs, right. That that surround us. And so when we think of choice, choices is, is creates, I mean, that's why we, we lean into wanting to look at what happens when we have the freedom to choose because freedom is that you have choice. It's not about you should do and have to, and all the things it's actually quite empowering. However, choice, like Victor Frankel's book, you know, when, and, and which remind which me, Carol, which, yeah. And which so, is, yeah, man, search for meaning. Right. You know, he was in the yeah. um, Nazi concentration camps, and and so yeah, the power of choice is incredible. Yeah. However, as much as it sounds great, this power of choice, it actually is in some ways kind of contradictory to how we have been, how we grew up, right? How yeah. the things that we were told going to school. And what we want to lean into today is really lean into empowering you and looking at what happens on a subconscious level when you actually choose something. Mm -hmm. So I got to experience a few weeks ago when, you know, looking at really scaling and leveling up in our business and, you know, putting myself out there in a bigger way, in a different way, right? Different, which when what's different and well, that's new to the brain. And it's interesting because it wasn't something that I hadn't done before, but it was something that. I hadn't really built the muscle around where it just kind of became natural, right? Which requires, you know, some repetition. It does require to do things over again. And, you know, I had set the intention of doing the, you know, these activities over and over again. And yet for some reason, I always book something over top of it. It never became important. It was always the last thing that I would focus on or create time for. And yet I, I knew logically the importance of this. And yet it still, it still never got done. So one of my leadership coaches challenged me. She challenged me to commit to, and she, she invited me to choose, but to commit to doing, I think it was like 10 out of 14 days of dedicating an hour a day to growing the business in this capacity. And it's so interesting how something shifted in me because she gave me the choice. I didn't have to agree to this, this challenge of you know, this stretch and I was like, no, I will take you on. I will, I will choose this stretch. 
And when I chose that, when I made that choice, something shifted for me. Mm -hmm. First of all, I noticed that because it wasn't like consistent, like every single day, which a lot of times that's what we see, right? We want to build a new habit or a new routine, or we want to implement something in our, in our lives, in our businesses, with our teams, we try to go from zero to 100. Right. Um, doesn't really set ourselves up for success, does it, Carol? When we do mm-hmm. that, right? You're trying to go from zero to 100. So yeah. having that option of like the 10 out of 14, I realized that gave me flexibility. So that already released this pressure of it needing to be perfect, right? I need to do it. Right. Day. Yeah. And then the other piece was that along with the choice was I also got to show, I also got to choose, sorry, how I show up. Like, how did this yeah. get to look? So I chose that I was going to do this stretch and I chose that it got to be fun. Yeah. And so then my brain went to work to think about like, how, how, how did I get to make this fun? And so it was exciting, right? And I was experiencing neurochemical, neurochemical, (laughs) and neural, sorry, neurochemical cocktail of the dopamine and neurochemicals that really the serotonin, the serotonin, yeah, yeah, to create momentum and excitement around this. So instead of it feeling like a drag that I have to, should be, and this guilt I was experiencing because I didn't know the importance of this, it now got to be fun, an experiment, right? Yeah. And you know, it's super interesting because you took your focus off of performance and you put your focus on to who you were being. Yeah. And that is so powerful when we're thinking about the things that we want to do that are stretchy and scary. And I just want to pause and lean in to um, coaches have coaches and it's important. The things that we are talking to you about in terms of the neuroscience, in terms of investing in yourself, in terms of the possibilities that are available to you, having a guide and a mentor and a community to help you see that are the walk we walk the talk we walk, I will say, Um, they're important because we all have blind spots and we all are on the journey of growth and um, building a better world through building our own lives. And, you know, it goes from out here um, into your, you know, down, down, down into your community, into your neighborhood, into your family, into yourself right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it starts here. Um, But the impact is huge, Mm -hmm. because scientifically, we are all connected. And so what we each do matters. So that that's one of the reasons I think that first point, the point that you were in a leadership program are in a leadership program. Um, You're continuing to up level your leadership because you've been a leader forever. And um, and, and then the, that power of being, instead of mm-hmm. um, taking the pressure of I have to perform off and thinking of it through the lens of who am I and who am I being in this situation? So well, I love that. And saying that pressure to perform, right? We think about our audience, mm-hmm. right? If we think about you, the listener, like the high do achiever. You, yeah, yeah. Like, do you feel that pressure to perform? Like, yeah. do you feel the pressure to show up in a certain way? I know I certainly did. Right. I I have, have. you have, right. Yeah. I mean, do you feel that you, when you look at your day, when you look how the things that you're doing, you're spending your time on, are you, you doing them because you feel like you should be doing them? I mean, do they feel mundane? I was doing a workshop yesterday on join. I talked about the mundane train, you know, we we just (laughs) get into these automations and, and we find ourselves just on this autopilot right? of doing all the, all these things. And that was kind of, what was getting caught up in terms of me creating the space and prioritizing this other business building activity and and our brains also I mean they're wired to keep us safe and familiar and even though you know we can logically understand the importance of doing certain things sometimes we get to do new things and we know we want to do them but our brain's going to keep us safe because they're new they're different yeah you know we had I think we were talking about this earlier Carol right like what the role that our brain plays in that. And then how do you shift from that? And, and, and part of it is, it is choosing, right. It and is, making that yeah. choice to, I love that. And it, I just want to say 
For those of you who may be new listeners to us, one of the things that Alex Leanne is referring to that we talk about often is the fact that our brains are wired to keep us safe, not make us successful. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because the brain's protecting our incredible, sophisticated, automated systems. So it, as it turns out, more than 90% of our limiting beliefs are absorbed in childhood. They're automated into our subconscious. And then we're making over 95% of our daily, as much as 97, some studies are now showing, of our daily decisions from what's in our subconscious. And think about tying your shoes. You sit down and tie your shoes while you're having a conversation with somebody because that's automated. You don't yeah. have to sit there and think and break it down. How do I go to tie the shoe? You're not consciously thinking that. So the reason that I bring this up is because if you're a new listener to us, we want you to understand that's what she's referring to. So when you go to do something new, the brain is going to bring up resistance and protection for you because its job is to protect whatever is familiar. That's what the brain sees as safe in your automated system. And so that in that decision to choose, I mean, we've done a podcast on this before, like decide in advance, diving into that a bit more. When you decide, right, you make that decision to choose. Yeah. You've made the decision in advance, set that intention, and that's impacting the actions you're now going to take and the results you're going to create. Yeah. So it's why it's so powerful, you know, especially I think leaning into anything new when you're setting goals, when you're looking at what is it you want to create, like, you know, is this something that you want, right? Yeah. Or are you making your decision? You know, I often, you know, share this, like, are you living your life? Sorry. Are you living your vision? Or are you living the vision that somebody else wants for you? Right. And so based on your decisions you're making, are you making the decisions based on the vision that you want to create, the life you want yeah. to create, the business you want to have, the team that you want to have, relationships you want to have? Or are you making all of this based on the have to, shoulds, feeling the pressure? Shoulda, coulda, wouldas. <laughs> yeah, these, this expectation, this this feeling this, you have to perform and based on a lot of other stories or limitations and things that you've heard, you know, that don't to support yeah. the vision or that question, you know, why are you doing this or, and just feeling that support and experiencing the negative chatter, the inner critic, the self doubt that's coming up from you for you. Sorry. So when you step into choice and that's, we lean into like, you know, what happens when you have the freedom to choose, you decide in advance. And this is now kind of putting the switch on in your in subconscious, your subconscious. Yeah. to now take, right. Take action, mm -hmm. then create the results that you want, which in that, you know, in, in the case for us, it, it's growing the business. Yeah. And then seeing based on how I determined I want to show up, which it was to make it fun, right? Especially if it's yeah. going to be something that is may feel uncomfortable at first and it got to be yeah. fun. And then you get to see the results you create from that. And, you know, you're really leaning into the fact that we can put these beautiful brains to work for us. Yeah. And so this is why we're bringing this to you. It's such powerful information. So lean into your power of choice. And there's really a couple of different angles here. There's the angle of, are you making the choice to live the life and vision that you want to live? Like Alex was just saying, and choosing that or living everybody else's plan for your life. Mm -hmm. And there's also the aspect of somebody comes along like um, a leadership coach in this case, who, you know, asks if you will accept something that will help you grow and change. And you are still choosing what you want to do, the life you want to live, because you had to agree to that. You had to make a choice or disagree with it. And I know that um, that opportunity is freely given where you can say, 
yes, I want to do this. I can see the value and the benefit in my vision. And mm -hmm. you're standing for me, believing in me and helping me to get there. Mm -hmm. Or the idea of, no, I don't see that this is in alignment with the vision that I'm going for. And here's why. And, you know, being able to, again, always have that option, standing in that place to being and setting that intention, deciding in advance, as you spoke into, we talk about that a lot, switching on that switch in the subconscious that puts the brain to work for you. It's very exciting stuff. <laughs> well, and Carol, you and I were talking earlier, like what happens because we do have so many, like so many external circumstances that often will impact, right? Sometimes the decision that we make. And we've talked a little bit about like outputting from the shoulds and the coulds and the wouldas. But what about for those listeners that have these, these big goals, right? Yeah. And, and they have the drive and, and, and they, they really want to make it happen and they don't feel supported. They don't yeah. start questioning them. Right. So, yeah. And so they've got that inner drive, but what's holding them back is the fact that they don't, people are questioning them, right? Yeah. And when you have that big dream, you're having your own struggle with believing, is this possible for me? And this is the power of having a guide and a mentor yeah. who will believe in you when you struggle to believe in yourself. This is the power of having a community of people who are up leveling and growing with you because we really are the five people we surround ourselves with the most. Yeah. Now, you know, when you're struggling to believe in a big dream and goal, and then like we spoke into in the beginning of the podcast, yet people are saying, you know, you can't do that. That's, oh no. And I actually, one of the clients that I spoke with earlier this week was speaking to me about the fact he has a partner he's worked with forever, but he gets a lot of no shooting down of the dreams and ideas, mm. tons of that. And, you know, that can happen with the people we're surrounded with because they haven't caught your vision. Mm -hmm. And when you're with somebody who can be there and stand for your vision and give you those things that are scary to do, help you move in the direction of obtaining your vision, then it makes the choice so much easier, doesn't it? You're like, oh, this person believes in me. They're standing for me. Yeah, I'm scared to do this, but I think, you know, they believe it's possible. Okay, I'm going to go for it, right? Well, and I think that's that, and that's the power of having a coach, having a mentor, having that community, because yeah. that's the role that they play, right? Carol and yeah. I both know that our jobs as coaches is to stand in your vision and hold your vision high, especially on the days that you have yeah. maybe are losing that connection because the world is noisy, right? Yeah. And so that's the gift. I mean, I know that that's something that we love about our jobs as coaches is that that is our job. We get to hold you in your highest. We yeah. see the vision come to fruition before you have, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, just because of society, not everybody around us is going to see that. And so right. this comes back to that power of choice right? If something is so important <laughs> to you, right? And you have this big goal and this big vision, which we know, we know if you're listening to this podcast, that is you, right? Like, yeah, that's you have definitely something you want to create. You, you get to yeah. choose who you surround yourself with, yeah. right? You get to choose where's the community that's going to stand for my vision. Where's the coach or coaches that are going to stand for my vision and hold my vision high and see it come to fruition before I even have. Right. And, and that, again, that's the power of the choice, right? That's the power of the choice. And that's why we bring you this podcast every week and want you to be here with us and share it with people as well, because um, we love giving you this information about how to put your beautiful brain to work for you, how to take it off, you know, just its job, it'll still be doing its job of keeping you safe. But um, being able to train it, just like we train our bodies, and we think a lot about training our bodies, but we don't often think about literally training mm -hmm. our minds. Yeah. And it's so important to do that, because this is our most powerful asset. And 
than to be surrounded by the people. And that's why we're here for you today, right now, who will help you see the possibility and not be one of the naysayers who they're just trying to protect you most of the time. You know, they've seen, oh no, that's not possible. Uh, you know, I had in one of my real estate investing ideas, that was something I, I was really excited about pursuing a new aspect of it and stretching going in a different direction. Oh, no, no, no. I got this story about so-and-so, mm -hmm. you know, they got screwed over and mm -hmm. da, 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 da. And it's not possible. Don't go there. Well, yeah, that happens in life, but that doesn't mean that that's what I'm creating, yeah. right? And the possibility for what I want also equally existed. Just like there is a vicious cycle in science, there is a victorious cycle. Mm -hmm. And we rarely hear about that. Just like there's entropy where things are breaking down, there's also things that are building and growing all the time. And this is why, you know, Carol and I put together the diamond transformation for that exact reason, because we want to create a community that had more like-minded, passionate, driven, high achievers that have big goals and visions and are looking for that community, looking yeah. for the coaches to stand there for them and support them in with the choices that they make, the actions that they decisions they make and actions they take the results that they create and being surrounded by people that lift them up and see that. So that's right. You know, as we, we finish up here today, like we're thinking like for your call to action today is where do you get to make a choice mm -hmm. in your life? Yeah. Where do you get to make a choice? Because he, here's yeah. why I want to lean into this. I think Carol and I experienced this a lot of our clients and, you know, we speak to a lot of entrepreneurs and, and even, you know, a lot of CEOs and managers when they need, when they're kind of faced with these decisions to make, and then they hang out in the limbo land and they don't make a choice. Well, if you don't make a choice and nothing moves forward, so you can't move a project forward. You can't move your business forward. You can't move your team forward. Right. It's about making that commitment. Yeah. So taking a look at your life, where is there a choice that you get to make? Where is there a decision yeah. that gets to be made? Right. And I would like to, I would like to invite you to choose our stretch of making a declaration that within the next 48 hours yeah. that you will have, will have made your choice. You will have made your decision. Yeah. And, and we encourage you to choose something that is going to stretch you. That mm -hmm. is going to take courage because this is where you'll grow and you'll see different results that all and and opportunities and possibilities will continue to open up for you so and maybe something that you're gonna choose to do is like myself commit to 10 out of 14 days of spending an hour doing something that has up until now the business yeah and yeah. that's maybe felt uncomfortable up until now and it could be in the business i mean it could be in health maybe you're gonna commit to an hour of an hour workout or something over the next yeah or 10 out of 14 days or, or something like that. But as yeah. Carol said, lean into something that's going to stretch you and really look at where are you playing small? You know, where are you holding yourself back? Where are you not taking necessary actions in your business with your team to yeah. move things forward? Maybe it's having some difficult conversations with some loved ones, you know? Yes. Yeah. And, and I think I'm just coming up to this because we had talked about, um, you know, again, that power of choice, you know, as we're heading into the holiday season here, yes. you have the power to choose as well, yeah. how you show up, right? How yeah. you, how you interact with your loved ones, because we know sometimes yeah. the moments can become a little stressful, right? So yeah. You, and sometimes it can simply be a choice to stay neutral in a situation yeah. Yeah. and, be curious rather than to receive things personally, yeah. look through that curiosity lens. That's a great choice for the holidays, right? Yeah. And we did a whole podcast on curiosity a few yep. weeks back as well, if you want to dive in more to that, but yeah, just think about in your life, where do you get to make a choice? Where are you feeling like choices get to be made? And it could be, yeah, it could be choosing something in the business. It could be how you you know, a choice for the holidays and yeah, just 
remember you have the freedom to choose freedom to choose choose how you want to show up the, yeah. as the loving beautiful fantastic soul that you are in this universe yeah so thanks so much guys for tuning in to another episode of the only to unstoppable podcast remember you have the freedom to choose and what would your life be like if you did make different choices yeah all right. We can't wait to see you next week. And if you want to DM us, please DM us at Instagram, um, unleashed.unstoppable.u. And please give us a review, subscribe, give us a review um, and, you know, make it honest. And we want your feedback. We want to always know what we're doing well, what we can do to improve and bring you even better more valuable information and we're here for you. We absolutely are sending out our love for a magical holiday season. Um, just a lot of special times and hope you wishing you breathe it all in. And yes. if you want to learn more about diamond transformation, there is a link below to jump on a call with us. And we'd be more than happy to see if you're the best fit for the program. Yeah, that, that's it. absolutely right. Um, and we just are sending out our love. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Unleashed Unstoppable podcast with your hosts, Alexander Carter and Cal Register. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, Please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review and subscribe. That's all for this episode, Wiley Ambitious Leaders. See you next week.